Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys six DIY Dolly Tree Spring Easter Decor Crafts. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank have a fabulous, amazing home. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For this first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make a super adorable little elevated planter. Now, I'm using these little crates, and the crates actually came from Target Dollar Spot. They were $5 for the pack, and then I'm just using these little pieces of wood block that were extra wood pieces cut from my patio from last season. I'm taking my hot glue gun. You guys could also use wood glue, but the hot glue is pretty quick and it holds pretty well. And I'm just going to hot glue little legs on these elevated planters. Now, I think these elevated planters are so fun and they're so much more expensive if you buy them at your home decor stores. So grab some crates and some little wood blocks and get to work. Okay, now I'm just going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to chalk paint some white chalk paint on these. Um, my idea for this season of decor is going to be to start moving into some really fresh, clean kind of French country feel with a lot of my decor. But remember, you all can change this up to match your decor. You can stain it, you can paint it black, whatever colors you love. Now I'm taking this well-loved and well-used piece of Dollar Tree styrofoam and I'm just going to pop that into the base of the planter and then using some of these Dollar Tree little greenery plants. I'm just going to mix in some greenery and some fun lilac and lavender. Again, kind of giving it that fresh spring garden feel. And just remember, you guys can use whatever florals you have. These are just kind of some florals that I had on hand in my craft stash. Always check your craft stash first. If you guys are like me, you always think, gosh, I have nothing to craft with. And trust me, if you're a crafter, you have stuff to craft with. I know I do. Um, and so if I dig around first before I go, go out and buy a bunch of stuff, I can really repurpose and reuse things from last season, which is what you guys are probably going to notice if you've been around here for for a while um, that I do. I do a lot of repurposing and reusing. I feel like you can really have a boutique gorgeous on home on a budget. Now I wanted this to kind of look like, you know, those really expensive um, planters that you see with like a bunch of greenery and then pretty colorful plants that you see at the garden store. I kind of wanted to give it that vibe. And then I'm just using some Dollar Tree moss to kind of tuck in and around the base so you don't see that icky styrofoam. We don't want to see that. Um, and so then boom, we have a couple of fun little planters. Now Dollar Tree is going to carry these similar style crates. They're just a little bit smaller, um, but you could also use Jenga blocks for your legs on them. And I think I shared with you guys a DIY similar to this last year, but this is on a little bit of a bigger scale. So here is how it looks popped in to my new living room mirror and this cute little honey bunny. This bunny came from Tuesday morning and she is so adorable. She actually lights up. I need to pop off her little bottom and put some batteries in there so she'll light up and feel cozy and glowy at night. I'm just starting to really bring in some of my Easter decor into my living room. You guys comment down below and let me know if you have started sneaking Easter decor into your living room as well. I'm kind of done with Valentine's Day. That's been all put up and I am ready for some spring dreaming. This is day three of the snow that we had. We actually were able to get out today though, thankfully. So I hope you guys are staying cozy and warm no matter where you're at. And I hope you're inspired to create some fun spring decor. Now for this next dollar store DIY, I want to share with you guys how to create a super adorable little bird's nest. Okay, so I have shared with you guys so many different ways to create bird's nest. This is going to be created out of a little salsa container, but you can also use tin cans like um, a chicken of the sea can or just really any little container that's about the size of a bird's nest. And so whatever size you use with your container is going to be the size of your bird's nest. Now I'm just using this pretty little ribbon to go in and around the edge of the container. You could also paint it or leave it as is I only had a certain amount of a little grass so I really didn't want the um, container to show through so you could use ribbon you could use um, scrap fabric to cover your container but it is a good idea to paint or cover your container if you don't have a whole super ton of sticks and moss now usually I do go out and um, collect fresh sticks for my DIY faux home bird's nest um, but it was pretty chilly today I'm telling you taking Benji Bear out for a walk I think our high today was maybe 18 degrees so taking him out for a walk was about all I could handle picking up sticks was just not on the list for me today so I'm just using this little grass and this is from Dollar Tree 
You guys can find so many different little grassy ideas um, in their crafting section and also go to your um, regular craft stores and even Walmart will carry like some little Easter grass or whatnot. Um, and so just, you know, grab some grass, some twigs, whatever you guys have on hand and get to work. I'm gently hot gluing it. And I say gently because you don't want to burn your fingertips. Although I do have neuropathy in my hands, so it kind of makes it, you know, a little bit easier to do. I don't feel um, the heat from the glue as much. Now it's not so bad that I would actually be burning my hands, but I will tell you my hands are pretty desensitized. Um, also probably due to the amount of crafting I do. Now I'm adding a little bit of Celsius moss to the top of this and again just adding the glue, kind of giving it a second and then barely gently pressing it down onto there. I know that when our birds make nests here, um, they use all different kinds of goodies from the yard. So I really feel like you can mix stuff in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, Dollar Tree is also carrying these little bags of moss and they have like little mixed, you know, just greenery and pine cones and just little mossy goodies in there. So I thought that to make it look a little bit more realistic, I would add that to the center and then add a little bit more of the kind of strawy moss to that. I also love the Dollar Tree speckled eggs. I think those are super fun. So hey, pop those into your little faux DIY bird's nest and bam, you guys don't have to buy these at the store. You can um, create them for just a couple of dollars in whatever recycled container you have on hand. Add them in to your Easter decor. And I will tell you the fireplace that you guys see back there is completely fake. Um, so don't be worried. I do have like, you know, some little greenery in front of that. I do plan to move that up on top of my mantle, but I just did this display for this video. Um, so anyway, I didn't want you guys did think that that was a real fireplace um it is fake but anyway here is how my little bird's nest looks popped in it to my little easter decor which again is going to be moved up soon and there's benji bear he cannot resist getting in on mom's video for this dollar tree diy i want to share with y'all how to make a cozy little easter cross using just a Dollar Tree cross. I found this at my Dollar Tree last year. They should be putting them out this year if they don't already have them in your stores. And then I'm just going to use some of this soft yarn. Dollar Tree is also carrying yarn. I found mine in my crafting section. So just add some hot glue to the base of your cross and begin to just wrap it around your cross. And you can get like a pretty good bit of wrapping done. And then you might want to add a little bit more hot glue just so the um, yarn doesn't um, slide around and you might want to pop on some fun praise and worship music or maybe even a great little show and then that's just going to give you guys something to do while you wrap because there's a lot of wrapping to do here um, but once you get through it it's a little bit tedious but once you get through it oh a podcast is fun as well um, then once you get through that you guys are going to have a really cozy little sweet easter cross you could even have your kiddos help you if they can, you know, wrap carefully. And each time you wrap on that little space of yarn, you just want to wrap directly next to it. The ends are a little bit tricky because you do kind of have to hot glue those ends um, pretty closely. But you can just wrap some extra little yarn around that. And so the way that I did the center part, which is a little bit tricky, I do find, um, I just start with one of the arms and I move it into the center and then I'll cross it over. And then I just kind of have to go back and forth with the remaining bit of yarn. So you can see here, I crossed it over and then I just kind of went back and forth. And again, this was the part that kind of did burn my fingertips. Hey, but you guys can get um, some little um, thumb or fingertip covers, or you can use a spatula, which is really great right as well. The hot glue does not stick to like a little cooking spatula. So that's a fun idea. Now I love Totally Dazzled Bling and this is a Totally Dazzled Bling jewel. I love Natalie. She is such a sweet, sweet, sweetheart. She is the owner of Totally Dazzled and I'll leave you guys a link in the description box of this video, but go check her out. She has really nice inexpensive jewels. I used to have an Etsy shop and I would make really fancy Victorian home decor for some high-end clients. And so I like to use a lot of jewels and let me tell you, they were expensive and Natalie's are so inexpensive if you like to craft and decorate. And these also actually come on a brooch. So there's already a pin fastened to it. Um, so, you know, depending on what kind of crafting you're doing, you can leave the pin or a lot of times too, I'll just take it off. So here's how it looks. My sweet little Easter cross. Um, I think it's just a sweet little sentiment. Now this is just to show for the video. This is going to be moved up on top of my mantle. And again, those are fake fire logs right there. There's no fire there. Um, so anyway, you guys, I just thought you guys would enjoy this and it's a fun idea for a fun little Easter cross on a budget. You guys could also add a little bow to your cross if you wanted.
Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm taking one of the Dollar Tree birdhouses and these are gonna be in the crafter's square section at your local Dollar Tree and they come with just a raw wood. And a couple of days ago, I painted this white. Um, so I just chalk painted it white. I believe it was one color, one, one coat. Um, and so now I'm just gonna take some of this little apple barrel craft paint. I got this at Walmart and I'm just gonna add a green roof. And I apologize if you guys can hear Benji Bear in the backyard barking. He, his girlfriend, Shusha Lulu, is back there and so he is really causing quite a commotion um, but anyway I'm just gonna paint the little top part of my birdhouse green now you guys can do any color you want I think it would even be really cute to make a Mackenzie Childs inspired birdhouse um, with like some maybe some little checks or stripes or just something like that I thought that would be really cute and so again I'm just adding some little green tips also to the base of this but really get creative let me tell you, I think that this would be such a fun and amazing little craft to do with your kiddos or your grandkids. And um, just get creative, you guys. Uh, pour some paint and have fun with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, the next idea I had was to take this piece of scrap wood and then just paint it green and then add that to the base. So it kind of looks like it's standing up, you know, like on a little stand, like a little birdhouse would look. And my idea is to even add like a little plate around it and add in some fun little moss and some eggs and some goodies like that so here's my little plastic plate I hot glued my birdhouse onto and then I'm adding in just some little leaves here and then I decided to add in some of this decorative moss in and around the base to kind of make it feel I guess like it's like a little fairy garden birdhouse out in the woods might as well <laughs> don't we all need a good fairy garden birdhouse out in the woods in fact that would be kind of something fun to have like an oversized birdhouse um maybe i'll do something like that this year and so now i'm just going to add some little eggs in and around the base of my little fairy garden birdhouse and there it is nestled with my sweet little bunny and there's benji bear scooting around in the background he is such a little stinker you guys every time i get into crafting and decorating he always has to be right next to me but he wants to say hi to you guys Guys. and then there's that sweet little bunny that sweet little bunny came from Tuesday morning I love how she has her beautiful little crown on so fun and fabulous on a budget this next Dollar Tree DIY I'm going to take this Dollar Tree family sign and I'm just going to chalk paint it white I love this sign my sweet friend Stacy sent me this one and then a gather sign which I'm probably going to save until next season until the fall time um, but I'm just going to take some white chalk paint and I'm going to chalk paint the family part the little lettering on the front and then also in and around the sides you know family is such my heart and I do think it was really cute as is but I'm going to be doing kind of more of like a French country, like really washed out look with my home decor for some of my Easter goodies. I like to do like a lot of pastels and whatnot, but you guys could always paint this to suit your home decor. But here's how it turned out. I think it's so cute. Um, I think it's perfect for Easter. It goes perfectly with my Easter decor right here. So as always, you guys, I ask that you um, comment down below and let me know what your favorite DIY is in this video and which one will you, be, will you be recreating? I know Benji Bear had a big hand in all of these DIYs today. He was the creative director and I can tell you what, he was the best ever. So here he's got these little balls. He gets a bark box every month um, that um, I signed him up for. I just thought he would love that. So they send him um, toys for small animals. So here's his little toy box right here and he was fussing at me. He really wanted me to get his toy box down. Um, I had moved it out of the way just kind of to make the video look more decor-y. He's looking for his ball. Look at him push all those toys out of the way to find his special yellow ball. So shout out to Benchy Bear and all the puppies who love him that watch my videos. We love y'all and we're so thankful and blessed to have you here. So thank you all so much for joining me in another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that you don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me, thank you so, so much. All of your prayers are so felt. And um, I just wanna thank you. Again, quick update on that ankle that I fell off of a ladder and broke <laughs> on January 9th that happened. Um, 
I saw the orthopedic surgeon today, super great guy. Apparently he also put my aunt's ankle back together. I have a very clean lateral break. Um, it's a talus, it's a talus fracture. So I don't know if you guys have ever broken that one, but it's a kind of a hard one to break. Anyway, so I went in there today and he said he wants me in the boot for three more weeks. I am in a tall cam walking boot. I'm not allowed to walk on it. I have to use crutches or my knee scooter, so it's non-weight bearing. Um, and um, let's see. So then he also gave me some bands to start doing like some rehab to it a little bit, I guess. Um, he gave me permission to take my foot out of the boot at night if I want to. Um, and let's see what other updates are there. That's pretty much it. So, so around March 8th, I'll be able, hopefully after the x-rays can confirm that it's beginning to heal or heal to more of a stable point, I'll be able to start rehabbing it and walking on my walking boot. So anyway, um, thank you guys for bearing with me. I know we're doing a lot of rehash content. I am going to continue to post rehash content for you guys. Um, and when I can get to the place where I can start crafting again, I'm going to do that. I do have some friends that are going to come help me undecorate for Valentine's Day and hopefully I can kind of scoot around on my knee scooter and get some um, Easter decor and spring decor put up. I really would love to do an Easter Christmas tree. I don't know if that's going to be possible. I usually do have to get on a ladder um, to get to the top of my Christmas tree and that is not happening. This girl is not getting up on any ladders. <laughs> so anyway... Um, I'm a one woman show. I'm Olivia's Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama and I love to share with you guys boutique gorgeous um, crafts and decorations on a budget. Um, I've been on YouTube now for five years. This is my fifth season. So welcome or welcome back. Um, you can go back and binge watch my I Love Spring series from all the seasons past. You can actually binge watch all of my categories of videos if you want to help a girl out. Um, I have I Love Christmas, I Love Spring, um, uh, the Safe at Home one, I Love Fall. I just love seasonal decor and I usually get most of my stuff at thrift stores, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, um, and that kind of fun stuff. So I'm in my same little home as when you guys first started watching me on YouTube. We did repaint it and add some pretty trim so it does look different and we got our carpet um, taken out. It was so dingy. We've been in it for and the last 20 something years, my son's 21, we moved in when he was about a year and a half. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. I'm about to be an empty nester now. You guys have kind of seen maybe my kids grow up a little bit on YouTube. I don't really show them that much, um, but they were pretty little when I started. Um, so anyway, my son just turned 21 and my daughter is 16 now. So anyway, thank y'all for being here. I love you so, 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 so much. And it's such a blessing and honor to have you all here. Um, I guess I kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent there, but I am a huge proponent for being kind online. I want to remind you to use kind words when you are speaking to people online. And what I'm talking about is like, if you're on Facebook, you know, and you see somebody post something that you like, give it a heart, give it a, give it a like. Um, somebody post a picture of their grandkids or their kiddos or their husband, just like it, heart it, comment it. Um, you just never know what somebody's going through and how that can really just be special in their day, especially if you're housebound or bedbound or something like that. So anyway, do your best to be kind. If you see something negative, just keep scrolling. Hey, listen, I would love to also invite you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing is totally free. It will just update you every single time I post a new video. Also go over to my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook page. I share several DIY videos a day with you guys over there. And thank you for your prayers and love. Listen, they're felt. They're keeping me going. And I am going to get back to crafting and decorating eventually. <laughs> so just bear with me. Life happens, right? Speaking of life happening, no matter where you're at in your life, give yourself some grace. Hey, you're watching this video. That means your eyes have popped open and you have been given the gift of another day. Now, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to smile at somebody? Are you going to go out there and buy some cute decorations and maybe tidy up your house? Are you going to call a friend, text a friend, love on your kiddos, grandkids, just whatever, um, you know, you need to do to put yourself out there and keep going. Get yourself to church, get some prayer cards. And my prayer cards are from Dollar Tree. I read them every morning as well as my little devotional. Hey, my life is not perfect. I've had some major changes in the last couple of years, including this broken ankle, but um, I just keep on trucking. So I just want to tell you guys to keep on doing the same thing. I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. Welcome to my I Love Spring series. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me over on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and all that kind of fun stuff. I love y'all. 
keep bearing with me and keep giving me grace. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.